Hello everyone, my name is Veronica Torres. I work as a business developer for the Ardo platform and I'm going to talk about what are multi-chain architectures and why they are relevant. The common problems with conventional blockchain networks are scalability and blockchain bloat. The scalability is related with the limitation of capacity and speed of transactions while the bloat problem is related to the increment of the size of the blockchain. These problems are typical in single blockchains like Bitcoin, Ethereum and others. Therefore, there is a need of new architectures in our sector. Multi-chain architectures have a significant number of advantages to solve these issues. So what is a multi-chain architecture? The concept is very simple. It is a software architecture in which several chains have differentiated roles. There is a parent chain, which main role is to keep the security of the system. And in the other side, we have child chains, which can build decentralized applications. So these roles are separated. And this is because the child chains that build decentralized applications cannot perform the consensus algorithm and it's the parent chain, the chain that validates transactions by performing the consensus algorithm for all the ecosystem. Currently, there are several projects that are moving towards this kind of architecture. Ethereum proposed in August 2017 a project called Plasma that is not developed yet, and other projects like Cosmos, Cardano, or EOS have also variants of this architecture. And I'm going to talk about the Ardor platform launch and fully working in production since January 2018. So how does Ardor work? In the case of the Ardor platform, the parent chain is a public network packet up by a solid and loyal community that is more than six years old. The community started in 2013 and it uses the proof of stake consensus algorithm. And then in the other side, we have child chains. Every child chain is a company and every company can have its own native token. And because they cannot perform the consensus algorithm, they have to rely the security on the parent chain. The way to do that is through what we call bundling process. This process is used to group child chain transactions up to 100 into one single transaction on the other parent chain. Bundlers accept the fees from those child chain transactions in the corresponding child chain coin and then they pay fees in Ardor to the parent chain. This way the parent chain keeps very light because its only functionality is the consensus and the child chain transactions are validated by the public network of this parent chain. This packaging process is called bundling, as I said. So what are the benefits of this multi-chain architecture? This new architecture opens a great number of new opportunities, but I'm going to focus now on three main benefits. The first benefit is related to the bundlers. Thanks to the bundlers, we have a higher capacity of transactions and we can improve the scalability of the platform. Also, the companies that own a child chain can create a bundler and uh, can bundle, bundle the transactions and sponsor the fees of the, of the child chain transactions. So the users don't need to deal with gas and this is a very powerful benefit. The second benefit is related to the blockchain bloat. Thanks to this multi-chain architecture, we can have two types of nodes. Uh, on one side, we have archival nodes, which contain the complete history of transactions. And in the other side, we have a snapshot nodes, which only contain the cryptographic proof that the data existed. 
This way we can remove transactions from the database without compromising the security of the network. And we call this the other pruning feature. And the third benefit is the following. Because the parent chain is performing the consensus algorithm, companies don't need to create their own decentralized infrastructure. And an Ardor child chain offers a decentralized network from day one, and this allows companies to focus on their core business and make a rapid deployment of their products. These are some of the use cases uh, built on the Ardor platform. IGNIS is, an open, is the open source uh, and permissionless child chain that everybody can use inside the Ardor ecosystem. Max Property Group is a real estate company with more than 20 years of experience in this sector. Intrific is a mobile app that uses augmented reality and rewards people walking in the street with the GPS tokens. This is a Singaporean company as well as a Coculus. Uh, Coculus is a, an Ardor instance in the fintech sector, uh, also based in Singapore. And we have more projects on development that will see the light this year. Finally, very recently, Everest Group published uh, the results of an assessment about enterprise readiness based, uh, based on capability maturity and market adoption. The companies covered in this analysis were Gelurida as well as other big players like Libaba, Amazon Web Services, uh, IBM, Oracle or Microsoft Azure. And Gelurida and the Bardo platform falls in under the category of the visionaries. Gelurida is the company incorporated by the core developers of the Ardor platform and the founders are developing blockchain solution science since 2013. And the company was incorporated in 2016 to bring the technology to the enterprise world and be able to give support to the business and, and so on. This is the website and this is my email. If you have any questions or want to explore any use case in your sector, and know how it would benefit from this kind of architecture, please contact me. Thank you very much.